Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at Fitzgerald's Hyundai in sunny Clearwater, Florida, and we have something special if you haven't seen this yet. This is a 2019 Hyundai Kona, but as you can see, this one's a little bit different than that lime green one we did. This is the Iron Man edition. And when we say Iron Man, I'm not talking about the triathlon and the bicycling and the swimming. I'm talking about straight up Marvel Comics Stan Lee Iron Man. Let's talk a little bit about Hyundai first before we get out of control here. I know that you're very excited, trust me. The Hyundai brand has been around in the United States since 1987. You had your choice of two different Excels, sedan or hatchback. Since then, they've been doing some very fascinating things, not only with their warranties, not only with car design, but obviously coming up with these special additions. The Kona is an all new CUV that is part of the lineup here at Hyundai, um, which they have everything from the Santa Fe to the Tucson to the new Palisade coming out. But I think the Kona really slots in to a nice segment and I guess what better way to honor such an iconic Marvel superhero hero as Iron Man and Tony Stark. One thing I think for sure you'll see is that they didn't just slap some emblems on and some decals. They actually made some changes. So let's go ahead and get into this 2019 Hyundai Kona Iron Man. Right off the bat, they did some changes on the front fascia. You can see the addition of the different um, body moldings that they have here. And coming across the front, you have specific Iron Man LED daytime running lamps. Do you see this part right here? That is specific on the Iron Man edition. So like I said, it's not just a color, not just a sticker thing. It actually has some different body pieces. Now, what's nice about the Kona already is that it has a very cool 21st century look to it. Headlights are down here. Speaking of headlights, so you have that Iron Man red. If you look inside, you can see how they actually have Iron Man on the bezels of the headlights in there. Full LED lighting, love the style, and with this matte gray, if this wasn't an Iron Man edition, I think they need to have the, two, the uh, Kona in this flat gray metallic. Really just pops in the sun. As we come across the front, you can see the six point uh, Hyundai grille, and then you have more of Iron Man. So there's lots of Iron Man here. Iron Man Red, they actually have embossed the name Iron Man right there. And then as we drop down, you have some gloss red, and it really does match well with the, with the matte gray, for sure. As we go up under the hood, totally different. Check out that hood. It's actually got a nice style to it. I like the color, that metallic red and that Marvel badge there, because remember, Iron Man is not a DC superhero. Shame on you. Get to Comic-Con. It's Marvel. That's what that's about. So off the bat, Changes to the daytime running lights, headlights, the different colors, the different body cladding on the side. And then as we come around the corner here, you'll see that these wheels are Iron Man edition specific. 18 inch wheel, they got the Iron Man blade built in with the color and then very, very cool logo of Iron Man. What's interesting is that Iron Man was actually my favorite superhero growing up. And in the 1980s, Iron Man didn't get a lot of love. More people were worried about Batman and Superman and all that, so it's nice to see finally, now that I'm much older and I don't play with Iron Man anymore, um, you know, he's getting some love. Anyways, going into the style, I think with the flat gray, it really shows off the body lines of the Kona very nicely. There is another Iron Man badge on the side, and then once we get to the full frame of the car, you could see the splashing of that metallic red. So I really think that Hyundai has two choices here. They need to sell a Kona in this red color, but they also need to sell a Kona in this flat gray color for sure. Love the um, headlight design with the marker lights and more of that red. Even down low, you can see how it's not just the red, but these additional silver pieces is all to tie in to Iron Man's suit and his mask. Because remember, it's a suit. Iron Man isn't like the traditional superhero, like a Superman. It's Tony Stark, if you haven't been paying attention for the past few decades. But anyways, going down the side, you have your nice high roof rails, which is good to see. And then even coming into the rear, just love the style and then the addition. There's some more of that body cladding that's been added. And then to wrap it out back, more Iron Man going on here. You have the beautiful Iron Man logo across the middle section here. And then as we drop down, you'll see that in these 
uh, light reflector areas, this is all Iron Man specific to the design. Even the screws, that was purposely done because of the screws like in the helmet and whatnot. So from front to back, very cohesive package and some things that have actually been changed from your standard Kona, which we actually have a lineup of Konas here. Very cool to see. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's Iron Man's heart like underneath that hood. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the not only Hyundai Kona, but also this being the Iron Man edition. Now, if you're wondering, does this have extra horsepower? No. What you are looking at is that direct injected turbocharged engine, 1.6 liter. You're looking at over 170 horsepower. If you like MPGs, this thing drinks fuel out of a very thin straw. You're looking at about 28, 29 in the city, 32 on the highway. It would have been nice if they would have added some extra ponies to this Ironman edition. Now what's great is it is mated to the seven speed DCT transmission. No CVTs on the lot here at Fitzgerald's Hyundai. So that is a very pleasurable thing to see, but let's go ahead and fire up Iron Man and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Hyundai Kona, that Iron Man edition. Before we go any further, I know you're about to get down to Fitzgerald's and want to buy one of these because I know you're a huge Marvel and Iron Man fan. You're probably asking me, Joe, how much does this cost? You're looking at an MSRP of around $31,700. Let's see what you get to the door panels. Not much to write home about. My problem is, is that it's all hard plastic and it's all dark plastic. They have this red theme to this car. Why not splash it over to the door panel? The armrest is as hard as a rock only Iron Man would be comfortable putting their arm there. I'm actually thinking about flying to South Korea, sitting down with the president of Hyundai Motors and really talking about what's going on with some of the door panels and why can't we just splash some color over there. As you transition from the hard door panel, you have a hard dash up top. It is softer in the middle section. And then look, it's cool. You have Tony Stark's signature. I actually was here at the dealership when he signed it. So it is legit, 100%. You do have some red trim, and this is what I'm telling you about. They show you, hey, we can't add red trim, we just don't wanna do it on the door for some reason. So around the AC, you have your uh, infotainment system there. Uh, very clear, the graphics and everything. Um, it's that iPad style, it's an eight inch display. As you drop down, no, no dual climate in this. So regular traditional AC controls are easy to use and navigate through, so that's nice. Very attractive looking cubby with uh, wireless charging, which is a nice plus to see. You have USB, you have 12 volt, you actually have two USBs, a 12 volt and an aux uh, plug in there. Shifter, check it out. There is the heart of Iron Man right on the shifter. That's what's power powering at Iron Man and that's what's powering this seven speed DCT transmission. You do have heated seats and different drive modes that you could go into from normal to sport, which is nice. Harder plastic on the cup holder. Check this out, and I'm gonna peel this away. Somebody's probably gonna yell at me in about five seconds, but Tom, let me just show them real quick. I wonder if I could peel this back without destroying it. Uh-oh, I think we're going to probably get in trouble. But anyways, underneath this sticker here, let me see if I can even peel this off. I'm really gonna get in trouble. There is Iron Man's mask helmet right there on the key fob. Very nice touch. Let me put this back and pretend like nobody did this. I didn't do that. Good as new, there we go. Put it in the cup holder, it is hard here. And then you do have this rubber material. Um, I don't know, maybe this is like Iron Man's boxers or something, I have no idea, but it's this rubber material. Open it up and you do have a felt lined little cubby here, no connectivity. This is really the best part of the interior. Not only do you have these stark logos embroidered on the seats, you have the uh, helmet of Iron Man embossed into the seat, and you have some beautiful red trim, including your red seat belts. So you can see where they really thought it through, but like I said, you go over to the door, major zonk, no red, another zonk, no sunroof in this $31,000 SUV. Why don't you come on over to the business end and see what it's like to drive this are you Iron Man? Let's check it out. All right, guys, we're inside behind the seat of 
the Iron Man wheel. Now I like the, the style of the Hyundai's wheels. I do like the way they took the red stitching. That was smart, but I'm shocked that nobody thought about putting an Iron Man logo here. I mean, we got about 52 Iron Man logos. They forgot a prime piece of real estate. Go to the dash, check it out. That's all Iron Man specific. I love the detail to the gauges. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move this back inside and show off the gauges and the heads up display. Let me shut it off real quick. Tom, just stay focused and see when you start it back up, check out the, look who that is, peekaboo, I see you, and then it disappears, of course, because I have the door open. But it does show Iron Man's helmet there, which is really cool when that starts up. There's a heads-up display, and it goes through a whole sequence of what Iron Man sees when he starts himself up. We'll try to show you that to the interior, and I'll try to blend all the um, sections together in a nice video. But you do have power adjustable seat, eight-way power adjustable, which is nice. Um, no aluminum pedals or anything. That would have been a nice touch in the Iron Man edition. But let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see what Iron Man's kids are gonna be doing while they're sitting in the back. All right, guys, back seat time. And we're gonna cover the cargo all in one shot because I'm feeling very Iron, Ma Iron Man-ish right now. Um, I feel like a superhero. But anyways, we do have the seats all the way back just to show that if you wanna have somebody back here, you need to move the seats forward. But nice leather, I do like the red trim. I'm zonking the back of these seats once again. I know I sound like a broken record, but they need to wrap this all in leather, especially at $31,000. You do have these beautiful red seat belts back here as well. And then when it comes to the armrest, I think another missed opportunity. We have 62 Iron Man logos, but yet they didn't do anything here for the passengers. They want a little Iron Man love. Why not give it to them? But anyways, so that's that. No USB, no rear AC. That's going to be a zonk as well. You need to really love Iron Man, I think, to, uh, to love this car. But anyways, let's go check out the cargo area and see what can we fit in the back. So coming to the rear, you do get a special cleaning kit from uh, Hyundai, which is in this box. But you can see the amount of room. Seats are going to do a 60-40 split very usable space and that's the thing this is something that you can enjoy every single day show off your love for marvel stan lee god rest his soul and iron man all in one shot but anyways if you're ready i'm ready let's take iron man for a spin we're rolling out of fitzgerald's hyundai we are in the 2019 kona but not just any kona remember this is the iron man edition really really like how the Konas drive. So, you know, whether you're an Iron Man fan or not, get down to Fitzgerald C. Igor, because I'm telling you, getting into these Konas, it's a very fun driving CUV. And, and I thought I would never say that ever in my life uh, about a C, any CUV, CUV, but with the turbocharged engine um, and that seven speed DC t tra uh, DCT transmission, you know, driving it, it's quite a fun, peppy drive. And I think that is really what separates it from a lot of the other cars in this segment. Because usually in this segment, most cars, zero to 60, you're looking about eight, nine, maybe even 10 seconds. With the turbocharged engine, that power, you're actually able to cut that quite a bit to a, in the high sixes. And I know that may not sound like a big deal, but I promise you, when you're pulling out in traffic and you're trying to uh, you know, merge and whatnot, it's nice to have that extra pep. And I think they found the balance in the Kona. Overall though, if you are an Iron Man fan, you are gonna be greeted each and every day that you have to drive to work or go pick up the kids or whatever with a lot of Marvel fun here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get on the throttle. The seven speed DCT does its thing. And, and what's nice is with a DCT is you have to get used to it. If you've never driven an automatic um, that's a DCT, it's got a different personality to it. Um, but I promise you that once you get used to how it shifts, it actually is a, a much more pleasurable experience than your traditional automatic gearbox. Or if you've been around CVTs, you definitely want to get into uh, one of these because the DCT transmission trumps a CVT uh, transmission a hundred times over. Quiet though in the cabin, um, brake modulation is great, 
throttle response is really nice too. And remember, I showed you earlier, there's that drive mode button. You have two separate modes. And once you put in a sport, I do feel the difference in how the power is uh, delivered from that turbocharged inline four. Turning in, I don't care if you're Iron Man edition or not, you're still gonna get great feedback from the front of the car. But as you can imagine, as you're driving this, people are looking and they're like, what is that? And if you are that type of person that you want, hey, a little bit more attention, especially you're a, an Iron Man or a Marvel fan, this is definitely probably probably one of the ultimate ways to show that you are a diehard Iron Man fan uh, by getting this Iron Man edition. But just very smooth driving car overall. Um, I really enjoy the cone, and I think that for somebody who does not want a larger SUV this slots in nicely and it like we showed you earlier you have lots of room for uh cargo and whatnot um and overall the seating positions are great for everybody no matter where they're sitting uh in the kona when it comes to controls very easy to see the navigation the infotainment system and everything um i would like to have dual climate you know i am gonna zonk it at this price point but remember the money was not spent so much on getting you dual climate. It was about making the daytime running lights look like Iron Man's eyes, which they do when they're lit up and that really cool heads up display um, that goes through those different functionality of uh, the whole um, Iron Man enterprise and everything. So it's, it's one of those things that very, very nicely done how they have lots of different things just to remind you of how special this car is all right guys rolling away here let me go ahead and get on the loud pedal real quick drops down and you're off going handling i'm telling you there's really good feedback coming from the front and i think that's what's going to make this a more positive drive for you is you don't feel numb from the steering wheel it uh it gives you great feedback and visibility is great in this thing too the other zonk, I think, for the interior has got to be the, the mirror. You know, it's it's uh, a large black frame around the mirror, and that really is attracting my attention. Every time I go to look out over the windshield, there's this large block black object there. I would just like to see a frameless mirror, and I think that could have been another cool way that they could have somehow incorporated the Iron Man theme into the mirror design maybe or something like that. So um, just something to, to be aware of when you're driving that there are certain things that maybe just could be trimmed a little bit. But like I always say, there isn't a perfect car anywhere. If you know of a perfect car, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. I wanna go take that for a spin because I've never been in a perfect car before. But uh, overall, just fun to drive this car. It's a fun car and a, with the extra flavor from Marvel, uh, and Iron Man, it just makes it even more so. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and get back to Fitzgerald. So we'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been an Iron Man filled day here at Fitzgerald's Honda. Definitely gotta give a huge thank you to Igor and everybody at the dealership for bringing out this Iron Man edition. Just wanna point out while she's running, there's Iron Man. See how they changed up the running LED lights? Very, very cool, very unique. At night, people are gonna flock to you like, hey, is that a superhero? I guarantee you in this car. But anyways, if these are the types of things you like to see on Radies Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to check out my different forms of social media, it's all Radies Rides original content all the time. If you want some merch, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. Let's hear it for our very own Iron Man. Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. I used to say his arms were made out of steel. They're made out of iron now. He wants to go get the helmet right after this and drive around with it on. So we're gonna get that together. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.